Fifth in a row. You know, I'm tired of you beating me. Well, I won't hold it against you. Let's pack it up. Be concerned with how many drinks you've had lately? Oh, please. We've got reason to celebrate. An excellent adventure of hunting and exploring. Well, it's not over. We still have the Amazon. Uh, yeah. We'll have some great hunting there, too. Oh, great sport hunting. It truly is the best sport in the world. For the hunter, that is. Not the jaguar. Whitney, who truly cares how the jaguar feels? Maybe the jaguar. They have no understanding. No animal does. Even so. I think they understand one thing, fear, the fear of death. Be a realist, Whitney. This world is made up for two classes, those who hunt and those who are hunted. Lucky for us, we're the hunters. That there, is that a, is that an island of Cape Verde? Out there? Well, I don't know. That could be a, well, that should be a ship trap island. You know, the captain says it's a cursed place that eats up ships and throws the crew onto the rocky shores. I think I even heard that there are beasts and wild cannibals that live there and consume the whole crew. Although, I don't really believe any of that. Not even cannibals would live in such a godforsaken place. <laughs> That so <laughs> maybe although I do sometimes think that sailors have an extra sense you know of when they're in danger and sometimes I can feel like they can feel that <sighs> that's what I'm trying to say here like you know evil sometimes I feel like it gives off wavelengths so like you know sound and light do You just decide. Some evil, an evil place can maybe emit these wavelengths and just, just vibrations of evil. Wendy, I don't know that I have ever heard you speak of such baffling things before. Yeah. I think you've had a little too much to drink tonight. <laughs> I agree. I think I'll turn in for the night before I fall off this boat drunk. Oh, good night, Rachel. Good night.
Small caliber. The hunter had his nerve with him to be tackling such a beast. Where there are pistol shots, there are men. Where there is men, there is food.
don't be alarmed. I'm, I'm Sanger Rainsford of New York City. I fell off my boat. Please, sir, just let me in. Ugh. Please, Ivan, let's not shoot our guest. We don't want Mr. Rainsford thinking the barbaric. <laughs> I am General Zardoff. I own this island and everything on it. Don't worry, Mr. Rainsford, I know who you are. My doorman here is Ivan. Please excuse his behavior for he is a mute and understands only simple English, but performs very well when necessary. It's nice to meet you, General Zarov. Likewise. Come, we shouldn't be chatting here. We can talk later. Now you want clothes, food, rest? You shall have them. You'll find this to be a most restful spot. Follow Ivan, if you please, Mr. Rainsford. I was about to have my dinner when you came. I'll wait for you. You'll find that my clothes will fit you, I think. They only make anything for anyone of higher rank than Duke. Here, Mr. Rainsford. Please, go. You know, Mr. Rainsford, I am quite fond of your work. Especially your book on hunting snow leopards in my bed. Thank you. Have you also read my book on hunting wild boar in the forests of southwestern Asia? Of course. I read all books on hunting. I have but one passion in my life, Mr. Ainsford, and that is the hunt. I did notice your books in your library and the pictures on your wall. It must have been the biggest Cape Buffalo I've ever seen. Ah, yes. He did put up quite the fight. Did he charge you? 
The big brute threw me into a tree. It fractured my skull, but I still got him. I always get to my quarry. You know, I've always thought the Kappa flow to be the most dangerous of all big game. Well, you are wrong, Mr. Ainsford. Here on my preserve, I hunt more dangerous game. Really? It isn't here naturally, of course. It must be imported. Could it be tiger? How would you like to play a quick game of billiards? Ordinary dust, I haven't played in such a long time. Thank you. You may break, Mr. Rainsford. Now to continue our conversation. It was not tiger. Hunting tigers disinterested me years ago. You see, God makes some men poets. Some he makes kings, some beggars. Me, he made a hunter. My hand was made for the trigger. I killed my first bear in the Caucasus when I was ten. My whole life has been one prolonged hunt. I went into the army at age 27. It was expected of a nobleman's son. And for a time commanded a division of Cossack cavalry. But my real interest was always the hunt. After the war, I left, chasing my appetite for the hunt. I traveled to many lands, chasing a quarry that could meet my intellect. None succeeded. When did you find this new quarry you seem to praise so much? I did not find it. I invented it. A new animal? You're joking. I never joke about my hunting. My animal supplies me with the most exciting hunting in the world. Every day I hunt, and every day the quarry tests my abilities. I realize what I've searched for, what I've longed to challenge is a beast with courage, cunning, and the ability to reason. But no animal can reason. My dear fellow, there is one that can. You can't be serious! This is a sick joke! Why should I not be serious? I'm speaking of hunting. General Zarov, what you speak of is murder. Surely your time as a soldier has shown you what people think of the value of human life. My time in the war did not make me condone cold-blooded murder. It's sad to see someone of such high class with such naive beliefs. I'll wager you'll forget your notions when you go hunting with me. You've a genuine new thrill in store for you, Mr. Rainsford. Thank you. But I'm a hunter, not a murderer. Life is for the strong, to be lived by the strong, and that needs to be taken by the strong. The weak are put here to give the strong pleasure. I am strong, 
Why should I not use my gifts? If I wish to hunt, why should I not? I hunt these scum of the But they are men! Precisely. That is why I use them. They can reason, so they are my most dangerous game. But an uneducated scum isn't capable of a higher level thinking. How do they even supply a challenge? Come with me. I keep them in here, pinning one against another until fit to be hunted. Recently, however, I began to feel the way I did several years ago. Bored. That is... There you come in. What do you mean? Tomorrow, we will hunt. If you can evade me for three days, I'll have you sent to the mainland on my personal boat. But if I will... Well, that's pretty clear, I hope. What if I don't play your game? Ivan has his own little game he likes to play with those who won't to play mine. I suggest my initial request. Ivan will take you to your living quarters. We will start the game in the morning. I hope you have a good rest. Good morning, Mr. Rainsford. Play your game. Perfect. My rules are simple. I will give you a bag with food and other supplies, along with a hunting knife. You'll have three days to avoid me. I will be hunting you with a simple six-shot revolver. After the three days, if you win, I will gladly accept my defeat and take you home on my personal boat. But if I win, you will die. Questions? How soon can I start? Ivan is preparing your supplies. Once you have them, you are free to go. I will not begin my hunt until tonight. Ah, uh, Mr. Rainsford. May the best mind succeed. Ivan, what is the meaning of life? 
Why am I here? What am I doing? My role in life is to take the life of the scum. I wonder... Where could he be right now? Give him a path to fall. Captain Harris! What? I what is just, I was just wondering if you've seen Mr. Rainsford around. I, I don't know where he's at. Now, if I said I hadn't, where do you suppose he would have gone? Rainsford! Mr. Rainsford! Get down and pull yourself together, man. Now, when did you see him last? I, I don't know. We were just... We were having a friendly conversation last night and having a drink or two and he must have fallen off the back of the boat. Or jumped off. No, no that's, that's not it. He must have fallen off last night trying to get a better view of that ship trap island. You think we're going back there to save your friend, you've got another thing coming. All you would have to do is get me close no. enough, dump me off, No, and I'll just... No, I'm not comfortable getting close enough for a man to swim to shore. Your friend is dead from the waters alone. Captain Harris, just drop me off at the island and you can do whatever you want. Just, in three days time, send someone to swing by and pick us up. Is that a good enough deal for you? convince you. Send him on a pretty good chase.
Never thought I'd end up like this. Himself could have followed that trail. I'm not going to lose my nerve. Ivan, I do hope for an exquisite meal. I had such a wonderful time tonight. Mr. Rainsford has sent me on a grand fox hunt. He truly has the skill I've read about. He's great potential, but it is a shame he must lose, of course. I cannot afford to ruin my record. Here. Must be Marcus with next month's meals. Boat. Take it.
this arrangement. Oh. 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 oh, oh man. Oh, I was only looking for lunch. I promise I wasn't trying to kill you. Oh. You shouldn't have come here. What do you mean? I, I had to come. I couldn't. I couldn't leave you stranded. You should have left me. Now we're both gonna be killed. Killed? By what? Cannibals? Worse. What could be worse than cannibals? The most skilled huntsman in the world. What? A man? Yes. And he will continue hunting me tonight. Did you bring the boat with you? I, I didn't assume to find you so quickly and under such critical circumstances. I sent Harris off and told him to come back in three days' time. That's not soon enough. We'll be dead by then. Mr. Rainsford, there's no need to raise your voice. We are both skilled huntsmen. How difficult can it be to hide from another mortal man? I don't think you understand the situation. This man kills other men for pleasure. I made a trail all across this island, and he found me in a couple of hours, in the dark. That sounds more like the devil himself. You have no idea. Did you bring anything of use with you? Brought the binocular, a, a 22, and some bullets. This will work well. What's the plan? I have an idea. Do you think he's hunting us right now? I doubt it. General Zara prefers hunting at night. I dare not think of what he would do to you if he discovered you. We should keep moving. I have a plan that'll throw him off. This is odd. This won't work. Let's go back.
Вот это его. You've found a friend, Mr. Rainsford. You've chosen companionship over subtlety. I'd have chosen the latter. Rainsford, how much further do you want me to go? Uh, keep going. I'm gonna grab some branches and sharpen them. I know you are, Mr. Rainsford. Must thank you for bringing your friend along with you. It's like quite a great surprise to see two sets of tracks. As for you, Mr. Rainsford, you have one more night. Seeing you've already changed the rules, I must add one myself. Your friend here will not see the light of day unless you best me by tomorrow night. I expect great things. I may have lost Whitney to that devil. I'm not going to lose my nerve. I'm coming for you. I must apologize for the way we met really. I hope you understand that's just how I run my business sometimes. However, I failed to properly introduce myself. I did not so. Perhaps a beer is I also have quite a collection of what? I don't drink anymore. Ah, sober-minded man. I want some. I know who you are. Mr. Rainsford told me what you do to people. You're a murderer. That is such an unpleasant word. I feel that you should know that what I do is not murder. 
You knew what some of these men trapped in my cages have done before falling into my possession. You would see the justification. That's a lie! What about Mr. Rainsford? I know he's a good man. Ivan, I wish to no longer be in the presence of filth. Lock him away. right now.
You okay, man? Yeah. I think it just looks worse than it feels. Huh. What's your name? Richard Whitney. Yours? I'm Frankie Jr. Nice to meet you, Frankie. Likewise. If you don't mind me asking, how the heck did you end up here? Well, my hunting partner, Sanger Rainsford, fell off our boat and swam to this island a couple nights ago. And he found this place and met General Zaroff and now he's in the middle of a cat and mouse chase. So, where do you play into the story? Well, as soon as I realized he was gone, I had our captain turn the boat around and I came looking for him. We eventually met up and started working together to trap Zaroff. That's when I got shot and dragged here. I'm sorry to hear that. It's a shame this is where you'll die. Excuse me? You realize there is no chance of getting off this island unless Zaroff dumps your body into the ocean, right? I'm sorry you've lost all sense of hope. How did you get here? All these people you see here, we're all here for some combination of petty crimes. I lived off the coast, my family in a small apartment. I lost my job and I still had to provide. Not the only way I knew how to was to steal. I worked for about four months, but then I got caught. And the government figured that the best place for me was a rehabilitation facility near the Caribbean. I was shipped there with maybe 60 other criminals. And while we were on the water, we received fire from an unknown source. Our ship sunk, and our captains were killed along with maybe 30 other men. I escaped the wreckage with everybody else here. We all but wish we, we would have drowned too. This island gives us a taste of hell and there's no chance for escape. All of us, we've been here for over a year and think that Zaroff has more in store for us. He's already taken 10 men in use to this game. We're never getting off this island and that's why there's no hope. We've all become pretty good friends here. The reason that we fight is to entertain Zaroff. And keep our lives for a little while longer. I don't know half the pain that you all have gone through. And I hope I never have to know. But I do know, as long as Rainsford is still out there fighting and surviving, Hope still exists. I admire your courage, and I hope that your faith in your friend can get us out of here. Yeah, we're criminals, but no person should have to endure this place. I know I'm a man of doubt, but if Rainsford somehow pulls through, know that every one of us will be there to help you kick some czar off trash. Thank you, Frankie. Count me in on this czar off trash kicking stuff. Yeah, okay. Pays off. Whitney, who truly cares how the Jaguar feels? Maybe the Jaguar?
Why? <laughs> they have no understanding. No animal does. Even so, I think they understand one thing. Fear. The fear of death. Sounds like it's getting worse. Roger that. It is the third night, which means that Rainsford must die. The fact that none of you have found him already is a bit disappointing, but expected. You have done well. I grant you a break. Fallout!
goes here? Markov, sir. Markov is dead. Whitney! Wait, 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 wait. Too close. All right. You drop this. I apologize for my intrusion, sir, but I saw him a bit ago. He headed upstairs for some reason. Mr. Kosa. I'll have you know I found Markov lying dead from having run right into a melee man-catcher. The man you thought to be your friend was in fact my quarry. I need him. Sir, fa Mr. Mark, I, I mean Rainsford slipped out while we were lining up. Clever move, Rainsford. Clever move. Kill that man! If he jumps, he's dead. Let's move out. Proven yourself to be quite the competitor, Mr. Rainsford. And have sent me on a grand chase. I'm sorry I don't share the same enthusiasm, General. After all, the game isn't over. No! No! See a bear before we leave. I suggest we keep moving. Whitney, you've been a very good friend of mine for the past several years. And I've never given you very much credit. Here. Your, your mother gave you this watch. Keep it. We have many great adventures ahead of us, Whitney. Let it be a symbol of our friendship. Oh, no.
leave this time, are you? No, not without all of you. Where's the key? Uh, I think I think I saw a guard put it over by the stairs over there. Okay. Check the other side. Almost all of these people have been in here for almost a year. They would be glad to help in any way possible as long as they get off the island. Well, that's good to hear. Yes. Everyone listen up. Tonight is the night that we make General Zaroff pay for what he calls sport. Now I know that you all want to go home. I do too. But in order for the good to triumph, there must be sacrifices made. So help each other, protect each other, and fight with me. Because your life and the lives of these people, your friends, depend on it. This has been a painful experience, full of hardship and suffering. General Zaroff has killed hundreds of men, and he won't stop there. It is our chance to fight back. To prove to him that we are not just some mindless animal, but we are human beings with a purpose and a passion. So fight for your friends, fight for your families, and most of all, fight for your freedom. Yeah! All right, here's the plan. All right, let's do it. I'll need a small team to go with me to find where he keeps his weapon storage. The rest of you need to stay here in the cage. Nobody can know you have the key. Tolka, we need you on the east side. Copy that. Be right there. We'll make sure to bring back enough weapons and ammunition for all of you. Once we have all our weapons, we can start our attack. We'll split off into two groups. One will take the east side and the other take the back. Zaroff will most likely come out of the front, so we'll set up an ambush for him after we've removed most of his guards. Everyone will wait for my signal of attack. I'll be commanding our troops from the barn, and as soon as Zaroff arrives, I'll confront him. Frankie, you'll lead out the attack on the south end of the mansion. Whitney, you'll command the group breaching from the west end of the mansion. There are about 10 to 12 men, all within 20 feet of the house. Over. All right. Engage on my mark. Three. Two. One. Engage.
Focus on these. We back up. Over! Side. Good. It seems got really good jump on these guys. Maybe two or three. The rest ran behind the house. Alright, that's good news. I'll alert the back. Make sure to help if there's no one on the east. Got it. Whitney, are you there? <laughs> yes, Mr. Razor. There's gonna be a few men retreating from the east. Whitney? Got him, Mr. Ainsworth. Stay hidden.
Quindi? Whitney? Whitney, please respond. Mr. Rainsford has entered the courtyard. I repeat, Mr. Rainsford has entered the courtyard. It is nice to see you again. I wonder if you continue to seek me out because of pride or because I took your friend away. What do you think? My friend lies dead on your back patio. <laughs> well, I'm flattered either way. You've proven yourself many times this adventure, Mr. Ainsford. Shall we finish this as professional men, or as savages? You and I are both men of the hunt, and we understand that only one of us will triumph. I'm still a beast at bay, General Zaroff. Get ready. Fight with the fire of a fearless lion. You have exceeded my expectations. But as I have said before, Mr. Ainsworth, 
life is for the strong to be lived by the strong and if need to be taken by the strong. You are not exempt! <laughs> Mr. Rainsford! Mr. Rainsford! I hate watching! Does anybody have eyes on Mr. Rainsford? I can check. Mr. Rainsford is fighting the general! What do you mean? The general's are fighting him in the barn? No! They're in the front yard. Well, can you help him at all? It's over, Mr. Rainsford. You will die on these steps. The value of human life is far greater than you will ever understand, General. Oh, is that so? Why don't you come down and explain your reasoning? I've lost sight of him. He went behind the wall. <sighs> Keep an eye on him. Congratulations, Mr. Rainsford. You've won the game. I'm not here to win anymore. <sighs> All this time and you still don't understand my reasoning. <coughs> the world was made for two classes. The hunters <coughs> and the hunted. You know, I used to think the same thing too, General. But I've learned my lesson. It's about time you learned yours too. We'll be at the ranges for most of today. Fall out. Excuse me, sir. Sorry, are you Senior Rainsford? Yes. Hi, my name is Lisa Miles. I'm an interviewer from the Statesman. I was wondering if I could just ask you a few questions. It, it doesn't take too long. Oh, well, I'll definitely try my best. I have a lot of questions. You get three. Oh, okay. Well, we, um, as a country are so grateful for your willingness to donate this island to the United States military effort, so thank you. Um, now I understand that you train these men with the help of other qualified officers. My question is, why do you have such an interest? What is the, the motivation? As a skilled huntsman, I 
have much knowledge of the art. So figured I'd give it back. And I owed a certain debt to someone. Okay. Um, okay, next question. What exactly is the story behind the name of Camp Whitney? I had a friend, uh, a brother, who went by the name. He saved my life many years ago. Interesting. We have one question. Use it wisely. Okay. Well, of course, everybody would like to know. Um, there's a snail? Yep. Well, how exactly did you come to own this island? 